What is the difference between automation line and a semi-automation line? Well, we get this kind of question a lot recently. So I think from a battery pack manufacturer point of view, I think the most important thing is the line efficiency, which means how many watts hour you want to produce for your line. So in today's episode, I am at one of our client's factory uh, where they have a semi-automation line. So I'm going to give you like brief introduction of this kind of line's configuration. And you can just um, decide what kind of configuration you want to as per your capacity as per your product okay so first of all that's the first workstation is called OCV testing for this workstation that's the uh, first difference is because for this workstation operator will grab the battery cell and then um, hold it and then unloading in this uh, belt so that will be kind of like a difference compared to the automation line. So in here, this workstation will have uh, the testing for the battery cell voltage and inner resistance. Battery cell will directly go inside and then the battery will have like a pin detected pin to test for the battery cell. And then for this workstation, we have like five space or have like 10 spaces, depends on the client request. Usually for a standard configuration, we have one, two, three, four, four OK space and one NG space. OK space, OK space and NG space is no good. So space. So um, yeah, for OK space, one NG space. When the battery meet for the requirement of the OCV testing, the battery also will directly transfer into this space. And then in here, the second operator will grab the battery seal and then place them on here. This is the section for the operator to apply the strip glue on the top of the battery seal. So uh, let me see if I can find the strip glue for them for Oh, yeah, I have one strip glue over here. So they will apply this on the top of the battery cell. Let's move to the next one. Here will be the stacking and pressing workstation. When the battery cell is being finished, the strip glue uh, installation, um, the operator will grab the battery and install in here. Oh, and also for if you are working for the battery, if your product is energy storage application, uh, you're gonna need this kind of steel build. So Yaw Laser also provide this kind of steel build for you as well. We will have one steel build pre-installed on the bottom of the stacking table. And then when the battery is being uh, installed over here, we're gonna um, install one more on the top of the battery module. That will be the stacking table. And then uh, when this everything's been finished, this uh, mechanism will pressing the battery into one module. And then the battery will directly go into inside, uh, into the center of the double speed chain. and then move to the number three workstation. That will be the battery terminal pole photography. So we have like camera to track each terminal pole's center mark and generate coordinates to uh, share this workstation's coordinate information to the rest of work workstations such as laser welding. Uh, 
uh, module is being uh, tracked on their position of terminal pole, this workstation, its operator, will install this kind of CCS on the top of the battery module. So for the next workstation, that will be the most important workstation that will be the laser welding. Usually we will have like six kilowatt laser welding equipment uh, configuration. And the most uh, common brand for us to use will, will be IPG. And we have Max, uh, we have GW laser brand. It depends on the budget and depends on like if you have any brand requirements. After laser welding, this battery module will directly into this workstation. It's very interesting. It's called EOL testing. That's the EOL testing cabinet. Um, the battery will directly go into this section to detect all those testing items over here. We have the screen to directly show the numbers in here. When the battery module is being detected on the UL testing, the last one will be offloading. Um, because you know, battery module can be really, really heavy, so we will use this kind of crane over here. And then two operators will use this kind of, um, kind of like host or holder to, we have like, also has like little, little holder stopper over there to hold the battery module and then uh, we can turn on this button and then we'll automatically transfer the battery module onto this tray. Um, usually, that's kind of like depends on the pack production. If you, right now your pack line is under production, they will directly transfer the module into the pack line. But for now, their pack line is not under production, so that's why they have the battery module on here to be buffering. So that will be the second part of the pack line. There's one more thing I want to share with you is the MES system over here. So uh, this is we produced for our client because their production, they need to track the operation numbers in time. So we provide this kind of MES system screen for them to see how many um, production they done today or how many left or any other numbers. And also you can tell from here is like, uh, the capacity and then how many they plan to produce and how many still left, how many did they produce in January, February, they can directly see the numbers in here. So this is another feature we have for this line is MES system. I think that will be the semi-automation uh, prismatic battery module pack production line. So if you have any questions regarding to this line, you can always reach out to me. So I will, send, I will see you in next episode. Bye.